how to use the dynamic trim mode tool in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Inside my project edit window, I currently have three different video clips on my timeline. If I go to select the trim edit mode tool, which you can also do by pressing T, and go to select the middle blue clip and hold the mouse button down, we can see that this particular video clip has had earlier and later segments removed from its original state. Judging by the white frames that appear on either side of the edit, marking the point of the video clips that were previously removed. We can also see by clicking on the purple clip here that a later section of this clip was removed and that an earlier segment of the green clip was also previously removed. The dynamic trim mode tool, which you can also select by pressing W, should be used with either the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, or the trim edit mode tool being selected. If I go to select the dynamic trim mode option, the red playhead will turn yellow. I will switch to the selection mode tool also, and with both these options selected, I will hold in K and press J on my keyboard, which will result in my selected blue clip in the middle being shifted across to the left side and overwriting sections of the original purple clip. Bear in mind that the green clip maintains its original position with a void appearing in between this and the blue clip that we are moving here. If I hold in K and press L on the other hand, the clip shifts back to the right and the section of the purple clip that was previously overwritten when the blue clip was shifted to the left remains missing. These steps can be undone by holding in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and holding in Z until the clips return to their original positions. If I right click on the dynamic trim mode tool, two options appear, slip and slide. If I now select the slide option, bear in mind that the icon for this tool changes appearance depending on the mode selected. The same effect is applied to our edits timeline when holding in K and pressing J or L to shift your selected clip sideways. So how can these two modes be used differently? If I undo my dynamic trim mode movement and select slip again, I will now go to activate the trim edit mode option. This time with the blue clip selected, if I hold in K and press J, the blue edit maintains its original length, but the original footage from the media file is shifted horizontally inside this container including the footage that was previously removed, as indicated by the horizontal shift of the white frame here. If I hold in K and press L on the other hand, the content of this media file will be relocated to the opposite direction to the right, whilst all other media clips on the timeline remain static. If I right click on the dynamic trim mode tool once again and select slide instead, if I hold in K and press J, this time the whole blue media edit is shifted to the left, but unlike with the selection mode tool, no void appears between this particular clip and the green clip due to the fact that they are joined together. Bear in mind that the green edits further down the timeline will not expand if this is not connected to the blue clip itself. And if I hold in K and press L, the purple clip is expanded instead. I've now reached a point where holding in K and pressing L does not move the blue clip further to the right on my timeline. The reason for this abrupt stop is due to the fact that the purple clip has reached its maximum length. Should the blue clip not be connected to the purple clip at all, it can continue being shifted further down the timeline with K and L pressed, whilst the purple clip remains static on the timeline in an earlier section. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.